Abstention is a term in election procedure for when a participant in a vote either does not go to vote on election day or, in parliamentary procedure, is present during the vote, but does not cast a ballot. Abstention must be contrasted with blank vote, in which a voter casts a ballot willfully made invalid by marking it wrongly or by not marking anything at all. A blank or white voter has voted, although their vote may be considered a spoilt vote, depending on each legislation, while an abstaining voter hasn't voted. Both forms abstention and blank vote may or may not, depending on the circumstances, be considered to be a protest vote also known as a blank vote or white vote. An abstention may be used to indicate the voting individual's ambivalence about the measure, or mild disapproval that does not rise to the level of active opposition. Abstention can also be used when someone has a certain position about an issue, but since the popular sentiment supports the opposite, it might not be politically expedient to vote according to his or her conscience. A person may also abstain when they do not feel adequately informed about the issue at hand, or has not participated in relevant discussion. In parliamentary procedure, a member may be required to abstain in the case of a real or perceived conflict of interest. Abstentions do not count in tallying the vote negatively or positively. When members abstain, they are in effect attending only to contribute to a quorum. White votes, however, may be counted in the total of votes, depending on the legislation. Topic: <laughs> Active abstention. An act of abstention can occur where a voter votes in a way that balances out their vote as if they had never voted. This has occurred many times in the House of Commons of the United Kingdom. During a division, a process where a yes, no vote occurs to agree or disagree to a motion, a member of parliament may actively abstain by voting both yes and no. This is effectively the same as not voting at all, as the outcome will not be changed by the act of abstention. However, in the House of Lords of the United Kingdom, active abstention is not possible as a Lord voting both ways will be removed from the list of votes. In another manner, an intentionally spoilt vote could be interpreted as an active abstention. An intentionally spoilt vote is caused by a voter who turns to an election and invalidates the ballot paper in some way. Because of the nature of an abstention, only intentionally spoiled ballots could be counted as an active abstention. International and national parliamentary procedures In the United Nations Security Council, representatives of the five countries holding a veto power the United States, United Kingdom, France, Russia and China sometimes abstain rather than vetoing a measure about which they are less than enthusiastic, particularly if the measure otherwise has broad support. By convention, their abstention does not block the measure, despite the wording of Article 27.3 of the United Nations Charter. If a majority of members of the United Nations General Assembly or one of its committees abstain on a measure, then the measure fails. In the Council of the European Union, an abstention on a matter decided by unanimity has the effect of a yes vote, on matters decided by qualified majority it has an effect of a no vote. In the United States House of Representatives and many other legislatures, members may vote present rather than for or against a bill or resolution, which has the effect of an abstention. In the United States Senate, the presiding officer calls each senator's name alphabetically, and, if abstaining, the senator must give a reason for the abstention. Members may decline to vote, in committee or on the floor, on any matter which he or she believes would be a conflict of interest. Abstention campaigns There have been a number of instances around the world where popular movements have boycotted elections. In South Africa, there is a strong presence of abstention campaigns that make the structural argument that no political party truly represents the poor. The no land, no house, no vote campaign which was started by the Landless People's Movement in 2004, is the largest of such campaigns. These campaigns have been met with significant repression. In 1999, a human rights activist was convicted in Belarus for calling not to participate in the local elections he considered to be undemocratic. 
In 2004, the United Nations Human Rights Committee found the conviction to violate freedom of expression. Other social movements and civil society organizations in other parts of the world also have similar campaigns or non voting preferences. These include the Naxalites in India, the Zapatista Army of National Liberation in Mexico, and various anarchist and left communist oriented movements. In Mexico's mid term 2009 elections, there was strong support for Nulo a campaign to vote for no one. In India, poor people's movements in Singur, Nandigram and Lalgar have rejected parliamentary politics as well as the NGO and Maoist alternatives. There have also been no vote campaigns in Canada and Spain. In September 2011, the New York Times argued that there was a growing scorn for voting around the world. Topic: <laughs> Justification In support for this non-political strategy, some non-voters claim that voting does not make any positive difference. If voting changed anything, they'd make it illegal, is an oft-cited sentiment attributed to anarchist Emma Goldman. In addition to strategic non-voters, there are also ethical non-voters, those who reject voting outright, not merely as an ineffective tactic for change, but moreover because they view the act as either a grant of consent to be governed by the state, a means of imposing illegitimate control over one's countrymen, or both. Thus, this view holds that through voting, one necessarily finds themselves violating the non-aggression principle. Herbert Spencer noted that whether a person votes for the winning candidate, votes for a losing candidate, or abstains from voting, he will be deemed to have consented to the rule of the winning candidate, if they were to follow the doctrine of Blackstone of which Spencer stated, a rather awkward doctrine this. Criticisms. <coughs> 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 Murray Rothbard, while a libertarian himself, criticized the New Libertarian Manifesto's arguments that voting is immoral or undesirable. Samuel Edward Konkin III responded. See also Abstentionism Apolitical Criticisms of electoralism Direct democracy Election boycott Elections Electoral fraud Electronic voting Liberal democracy Lobbying in the United States Non-politics None of the above None of these candidates Parliamentary procedure Political alienation Power elite Protest vote <laughs>